Hello once again, this is the Ryan Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching. Uh, like many people, I was um, eager for the conclusion of the Venom Fang X episode with um, DPR Jones. I mean, the DMCA stuff and everything else has been going on for so long, it was nice to finally see an end to it, at least from Venom Fang X. Now, I'm speaking of Venom Fang X and Sean as two different people. Uh, in light of Sean's request that he disassociate himself from Venom Fang X, so I'm going to speak of them as two separate individuals. Even though, yeah, I know they're the same guy. Anyway, uh, it's it's nice to see it finally come to an end, at least from him, uh, from Venom Fang X. That channel's now closed, and now Sean wants to go on with his life, which is uh, a certainly nice thing. And uh, DPR Jones and Thunderfoot have agreed on their part to remove certain videos. Jaguar Jones has also agreed to remove some of his videos, even though he was not uh, asked to. But a lot of people are going to hold on to their videos and keep them on their channels, keep them active. And I believe that they have every right to do so, because there are many other people besides DPR Jones and Thunderfoot uh, who were hit with false DMCAs and were on the receiving end of a lot of the vitriol that was stirred up on the Venom Fang X channel. Um, I think, personally, that when uh, Venom Fang X made his apology video for Thunderfoot, he may have really been remorseful over what he had done and realized that he had come within uh, the skin of his teeth of actually seeing the inside of a courtroom on the losing side of a lawsuit. But I also believe that there are people that were hangers-on for that channel that egged Sean on to keep going and who stoked his ego and um, got him into the Venom Fang X mode of filing more false DMCAs. And there are people who still have these false DMCAs outstanding uh, who have strikes against their accounts because of false DMCA's that were filed in the past and they want a resolution and they're perfectly entitled to that as far as I am concerned however a point was brought up on at least two channels that I subscribe to uh, Lord Hathor and Bionic Dance uh, most specifically Lord Hathor uh, who wanted to know about the money that was supposed to go to Sick Kids Hospital he wanted to, or he wants to see the actual financial records from the PayPal account, how much money was received, and the amount over $500 would go to Sick Kids Hospital. Now, Thor, uh, I understand your frustration. I really do. I was one of the people that was really outraged over what was going on, or what did go on. Um, however, According to a uh, blog TV session, which is on Coctopus's um, blog TV channel, as of right now, Sean has no financial assets. I have no idea what happened to that money. Uh, we can assume that he spent it, or we can assume that it might have been taken away from him. We don't know the final conclusion of what happened between Sean and Sick Kids Hospital. However, as far as demanding to see the financial records and wanting to know to the penny how much money he was uh, how much money he received Thor I hate to tell you this but it's none of your business why is it none of your business because you are not one of the injured parties you see this whole matter whatever there is left of it is firmly between Sean and sick kids hospital if Sick Kids Hospital does not pursue it, that's up to them. It is their choice as the alleged injured party in this whole incident. Uh, if you were one of the donors, you could ask uh, to, to be told of what happened to the money you gave, how much of it found its way to Sick Kids Hospital. Uh, you would have that right as a donor. Uh, however, Sean, as we all know, was not a registered nonprofit charity, so legally speaking, I, I don't really know what your standing would be in an actual courtroom case. But as far as I can see from my own experiences, if you are not one of the parties involved in the case, you have no right to see any of the records involved. 
that is entirely up to Sick Kids Hospital. And whatever third party they may wish to bring into it, whether it's the, uh, the law enforcement in uh, their province or the tax officials in their province and Canada uh, nationally, that's their choice. Sean is under no legal obligation, and I don't even know if he's under any kind of moral obligation to show you these financial records because you personally, Thor, were not injured. All right. Uh, we can be curious as to what happened. People want to know. I know Bionic Dance wanted to know what happened with it. But any statement that comes out is entirely up to the parties involved, namely Sean and, again, Sick Kids Hospital. If they decide not to make the details of whatever settlement is involved in this case public, then they don't have to. If Sean doesn't want to, he doesn't have to, and neither does Sick Kids Hospital. Chances are pretty good as a court case, this sort of thing would be kept under wraps. Now, uh, people have also suggested that Sean volunteer himself uh, with Sick Kids Hospital, you know, to volunteer to do some work for them uh, as a way to make up for the money that he was supposed to send them but didn't, and right now no, long, no longer has. Uh, looking over Sick Kids Hospital's website at sickkids.ca, there are general requirements for being a, a volunteer at Sick Kids Hospital. You must be a resident in Canada for a minimum of a year or have established references and a criminal record check. Well, you know, <laughs> uh, I think Sean could probably clear that one. I haven't heard anything about him going to jail. Must have a good command of the English language, both both verbal and written. Okay. Must be able to provide documented proof of TB immunization compliance by sick kids standards. And fourth, and this is the lynch, this is the problem, must possess a high level of maturity in order to meet the unique needs of our patients, families, and staff. I think it kind of goes without saying that Sean, as of now, doesn't really have the kind of maturity that is needed to work in a hospital filled with very ill children. You're talking about children who have cancer or other life-threatening uh, diseases. Uh, ask yourself, does Sean have the maturity to work in such an environment? Now, there are volunteer opportunities at Sick Kids right now. Uh, one is Child Life Volunteer. Uh, and the other one is Administrative Support Volunteer. Both of these are for the summer of 2010. And both of these were posted uh, within the last few days. Um, just generally going by number four of the requirements for a volunteer, mental maturity, I don't think that anyone who can hear my voice right now can say to yourself, yeah, I think Sean is mentally mature enough to work in a hospital. Maybe some other charity volunteering some time dividing the round figure $3,500 you know the $4,000 that I heard he made divided by the minimum wage of Canada which is like nine fifty an hour that comes out to about $368 uh, 368 hours so if he would volunteer 368 hours a volunteer time say in a soup kitchen or whatever they have in Canada for the the poor and the homeless and whatnot, then maybe that might satisfy some people. But just so you know, as far as the Sick Kids Hospital thing, if neither party decides to release the details, especially if Sick Kids Hospital, as the injured party, decides not to re release the details, they don't have to. So I think the issues involved for people, whether or not to let Sean just simply move on and, and forget the whole Venom Fang X incident, um, as far as what you should be concerned about, is only how you personally have been affected through this whole sorry incident. Anyway, this is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching.